No part of your body is harder hit by giving birth than your vagina and breasts. In the several days following birth, your breasts will produce a yellowish fluid called colostrum. In the several days following birth, your breasts will produce a yellowish fluid called colostrum. When your infant suckles, it will cause the release of hormones that trigger your milk. However, even if you choose not to nurse, your breasts will produce milk for several days to a week. If you want the milk to stop flowing, you shouldn't allow your baby to nurse, nor should you remove the milk in any other manner. As your breasts inevitably get swollen, you can use cold compresses to ease the pain. There are medications like bromocryptine or high doses of injected estrogen, which can suppress milk production. However, these drugs come with additional health risks to the mother, so they are not commonly prescribed. You will notice discharge, known as lochia, from your vagina. This occurs as cells from the lining of your uterus slough off. Lochia starts out as bright red blood and then tapers off before finally stopping. After you give birth, your uterus is 15 times heavier than it was when you got pregnant. For this reason, you'll be able to feel it a few finger widths below the top of your belly button. But by six weeks after delivery, your uterus will return to its pre-pregnancy size. Having a baby definitely changes your body, but take comfort in the fact that most alterations are only temporary.